small business. It's, you know, a restaurant, bookstore down the street. We have about 50 employees. This bill is going to help us tremendously, and, and I'll tell you how. If, I, if this bill passes, Patricia and I will be able to hire probably another half a dozen people. We pay, we, we pay a living wage. We start people at $12 an hour. We have health insurance. We care about our employees. If we could invest in, the, in our uh, business and not have to depreciate it over five years, we would have pizza delivered. That's what we're going to do. And I, I'm going to hire five or six more people to do that. It's a very practical thing for me. And this is going to make a difference. If we all pitch in, bit by bit, the small businesses out there, we have a little bit more money, we have the ability to invest, we'll solve the problem. We'll solve the problem ourselves. We're not talking about government handouts. We're talking about handing more to the government as we increase our business. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today. I think this is a wonderful bill. I really do. Whether, whether it's from the Democrats, Obama, I don't care. It's good for small business. And thank, thank you for being here today to help for business. Wes Carney, my former campaign coordinator, came by my house. She's in her late 20s. She works on Capitol Hill. She told me about two of her best friends from high school, both now college graduates. One is a single parent who lives on a farm and is struggling to pay rent. The other works in a medical marijuana grow operation here in Colorado Springs, earning less than $8 an hour. Who would have thought? College educated, middle class, both working below the poverty line, they're the working poor. Both are one step from homelessness. She has a third friend who works on Wall Street. He takes a helicopter to work every day. The Wall Streeter lives large, and he pays an income tax rate of 15%. There's something unfair about this. These three people represent America today. Actually, they represent two Americas. One poor and getting poorer. One rich and getting richer. We're here today because we need jobs. We've needed jobs for almost three years, but our government has failed us. The government doesn't create most jobs, but here's what does work. Author and economist Thomas Friedman, recent book, tells what made America great in the past. The formula for success is built on five pillars. Number one, educating our people, up to and beyond whatever the technology is, whether it's cotton gins or supercomputers. Second, having the best infrastructure, roads, bridges, airports, railways. Third, having the most open immigration policy to attract energetic and talented immigrants who often open their own businesses. Four, having fair rules for investing and capital formation and preventing recklessness and illegality. And fifth, have the best government-funded research to push out the boundaries of knowledge. That was our formula for success. But we can't do what is necessary, Senator Morris and I, at the state level. We can introduce Buy America plans, which will help. But we need to do some things at the federal level. We need to adopt fair trade policies. Yeah, yeah. Not free trade, smoke and mirrors. We need to adopt currency reform, that imported goods sold in the United States meet U.S. food and health and labor and environmental standards. We, we need to eliminate tax advantages that undermine corporate competitiveness of U.S. producers. Congress needs to address trade deficits arising from importing foreign oil. This shouldn't be a tough sell, but it's Congress and it's their job to do it. Congress needs to support policies now that Republicans and Democrats have supported in the past including infrastructure improvements. They need to build roads, bridges, rail systems, and airports. We need to modernize our schools to make them internet ready with new science labs. 
We need payroll tax cuts, as described by Richard Storman. We need to help small businesses with tax credits. And we need to help the unemployed veterans with tax credits. The only reason to oppose these policies is politics. To deny the president a victory. We need to rise above politics. We need to come together to do what is right. Urge your legislators to support policies that put America back to work. Thank you.